Hey guys, uh, what's going on? This is 1A-Dog1, and I'm back with another part of my IC2 tutorial, or Industrial Craft 2. Um, essentially, I'm doing power systems now. This is going to be a pretty short video, but it's it's good enough. It, it, it'll tell you everything you need to know about power, except for nuclear reactors. Um, oh, and by the way, in the last episode, I made an error in my signage. This actually stores 10,000 EU, um, which I discovered when I was over here uh, smelting this. Anyway, um, okay, so I've left this up for reference, um, and this right here is uh, the crafting recipes for all the generators besides the normal generator, which is over here in this game. So, let's start with the solar panel. We have three coal dust, three glass, two electronic circuits, and a generator. Um, the coal dust is ma uh, can be made by macerating coal. Uh, pretty easy to make. And, uh, yeah, it's a good power solution. And once you get to the higher tiers, one of the best in the game. So, and then you come over here. Actually, let's go up here. So, here we have a low-voltage solar array, which is made with eight solar panels. Oh, by the way, <laughs> sorry. Um, this produces one EU per tick in sunlight, which I need to make it sunlight because it's being annoying. Okay, um, it produces one EU per tick in sunlight. Um, this is the low-voltage solar array made with eight solar panels and one low-voltage transformer, um, and it produces eight EU per tick in sunlight. These are really... Uh, <laughs> the lower power ones aren't really that useful, but let, let, let me finish. Okay, so here we have the medium voltage solar array, eight low voltage solar panels, or eight low voltage solar arrays, and a medium voltage transformer outputs 64 EU per tick in sunlight. <laughs> and then we have the high voltage solar array, which is the most powerful solar array in the game, and is I, it, and this is what I use when I like uh, when I create stuff when I uh, like when I'm in games and stuff I don't go down the nuclear track I don't go down the windmill track or whatever I go down the high voltage solar array track um, and essentially this outputs 512 eager per tick in sunlight now there is one disadvantage of this one disadvantage you may not know it through this but to make one of these you technically, because each crafting recipe requires eight of the previous, have to make 512 solar panels. 512 solar panels. Jesus Christ on a pogo stick, or JCOAPS. So, eight times eight to make... Er, 8 to make the low voltage solar array, times 8 to make the medium voltage solar array, that's 64 already, times 8, which is 512 to make the high voltage solar array for 512 EU per tick. Now, that's not bad. That's the best production you'll get from a single block. Um, in fact, is it better than a single block nuclear reactor? No, it's not. Um, but it, besides nuclear reactors, which are so up in the air and, as I said, so confusing, um, these will produce 512 EU per tick, only in sunlight, but still, if you think about it, that will fill, one of those will fill an MSFU in no time at all. A tick is, what, a tenth of a second? So 500, so 5,000 a second, uh, divided by 40 million, so about 2,000. I, I'm nah, never mind. Eight thousand seconds. Okay, so eight thousand seconds to completely for one of those to completely fill an MSFU. Which, by the way, a filled one of these will power anything. And I mean anything. When I make bases, I I put like eight of them in, um, because they're not incredibly complicated to make. Although they are by the looks of it, but they they're not incredibly complicated to make. And if you essentially what you can do is you can just create a power station, make, put a ton of these down, and then, uh, I'm trying to use hand signals when you can't see me, um, so, but just put a ton of these down, and they'll power any machine, just hook it up to anything, um, so there's the solar panel track, probably the hardest, but most reliable, then we get to windmills, 
Um, windmills are so unreliable, so ridiculously complicated that I hate them. Easy to make. One of them for iron, for normal iron plus a generator in the center, um, and they can produce zero to eleven EU per tick to pain on the weather, the height. Essentially, if you put these above block one hundred. Um, with no obstructions around it, they'll produce quite a lot. But, jeez, <laughs> um, but um, their EU production varies so much that they're incredibly unreliable, and without a large number of them, you cannot produce enough EU to do anything, really. <laughs> you need a lot of them um, to do anything reliably. Okay, so moving on. The probably most annoying... Um, uh, producer here is the water mill. Um, this is the crafting recipe for planks, four sticks, and a generator. We'll make two water mills. <sighs> you put them in water, and they produce, what do you know, 0.25 EU per tick. 0 0.25 EU per tick each. Um, and they, and that's if they have a 8x8 block, or sorry, a 3x3 block clear space around them. Um, which, by the way, can be shared by other watermills, but still. My god, it's so ridiculous. It produces nothing, essentially. Nothing. Um, now, what you can do, um, if you want to do it manually, you can actually fill them up with water buckets, and they'll produce one EU per tick. <laughs> uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but... <laughs> Yeah, they do that. I guess they're like a quick injection of EU. Uh, no, they're not really quick, actually. If you need like a quick injection of EU, um, well, let's get off of this because I hate it. We'll move on to the next one. The geothermal generator. Now, this is a quick injection of EU. 20 EU per tick um, and is powered by lava. And I looked this up. In total, if you have a full stack of lava cells in it... Um, it will produce a grand total of 1.7 million EU, which is pretty good. Um, once again, we'll power almost anything except for a long-range teleporter. But anyway, uh, made with a generator, two tin or two empty cells, which can be crafted here in this basic configuration of four tin ingots, um, and that makes 16 empty cells, which will last you forever. And they hold liquid if they're crafted with a bucket. So. Um, I say if. So what you do is you pick up the liquid in the bucket, and then you put it in your crafting interface, and then you put this with the liquid-filled bucket in the crafting interface, and it will produce a liquid-filled empty cell. Um, to give you an idea of what that can do, um, you can make hydration cells, uh, water cells, and these are uranium cells, um, coolant cells, water cells, biofuel cells, coal fuel cells, bio cells, uh, high... high uh, Hydrated cold coal cells, uh, lava cells, um, which yeah, yeah, uh, twenty yeah. Anyway, um, so there's that, and uh, that's the basics for uh, power production. Um, next time, <laughs> my God, um, next time we'll we will be doing uh, nuclear reactors. So. If I don't get back to you a bit after this episode goes live, uh, if like if after like three days this episode doesn't go live or I don't announce anything because I forget to, I may or may not have blown up this area with a nuclear reactor. <laughs> God damn it! I know I know a way to make an incredibly safe reactor that produces 10 EU per tick, but it's kind of useless having uh, using that many resources just to make something that produces 10 EU per tick. So I'll. I'll show you guys like some experiments and stuff um, that I've come up with that'll essentially just um, produce tons of EU. Um, but uh, the easiest thing to do, mm, actually, no. Um, anyway, and I was talking about a large injection of EU. One of those can produce so much EU that it will blow up an MFE and possibly overload a high voltage cable <laughs> um you can do that by being very very risque and uh filling an entire nuclear reactor with uranium cells in which case it will blow up in about oh i don't know 10 seconds <laughs> um 
but on the plus side, it'll produce about half a million EU in that in those ten seconds. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, God, nuclear reactors. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the, oh, I will hopefully see you guys in the nuclear reactors video. Um, this has been 1-8-Dog-1 doing basic power sources. <laughs> God, I hate nuclear reactors so much. I use them to power my house. I use them to power my houses along with uh, high-voltage solar arrays. Um, like, I use them as, like, backup and stuff. I use safe nuclear reactors, though. I use the crappy, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, ten times thing or whatever. So, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys a couple basic ideas that I've come up with. Um, but besides that, thank you all for watching. I will, uh, see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.